This is coming from the elf girl that's basically willing to to, to get into to you know to those uh those group uh what the, what is the term orgies? Yeah, we'll go with that. Well, okay, if you want to just go out and say it right there, I guess we'll go we'll go with that. Oh, I'm sorry. Let's let's not get demonetized. I'm sorry. The the old word. Welcome to the Anime Igazakaya podcast. This is the Mushoku Tensei episode review for part two, um, a second episode. I'm your host, David, and joining me today, we have Shren. Hello. And we have Ku. Yo, yo. All right. So this episode for Shren, not as hype as last week's, you know, season opener, but. Yeah, okay. Only only because the, the the insane, overwhelming amount of etchiness that you just got hit right off the bat. I had to sit here, and immediately when that stuff happened, I just had to turn my volume down by like half. By half. By oh, half. The goodness. Uh, I mean, I heard it still. It, it was uh, it was it was loud. Hey man, you're not, so you're I, not still, I still got that. that in your own apartment. I you know it it hit me a little bit. I, I I wasn't ready for it, even though like I knew like about how I mean before with the previous season or how much etchiness it had was not ready for uh the the group. <laughs> so I mean. I'll say, like, I mean, it's just, it's just Rudy. It, Rudy just always bothers me. And, like... I'm not talking about him. Oh. <laughs> I don't know why. But no, that bothered me, him. too. Dude, I don't Dude. care about the other chick. Like, she can do whatever she wants. I'm a fan of the elf, though. I'm a fan of the elf. She can do whatever she wants. I'm, I'm just saying for Rudy, it's like, <laughs> stop going after this 13-year-old girl, man. Man, I'm just going to say to Rudy, like, just go to brothel. Like, if you can't, like, control yourself, just... Just go to brothel and calm yourself down. Get off. Stop. He's a year younger than Eris, so it wouldn't work out if you went to a brothel. Middle-aged man, man. That's uh yeah that was the one thing that like it's I don't really think it's teasing anymore since considering he had to leave to relieve himself uh-huh. um that was also unnecessary <laughs> but uh they threw it in anyway I mean but when I you did, were a I teenager did, you did things like that right you yeah. had urges so I, I did enjoy though his, man though like I, can't, I I did like, enjoy though his like his uh his like in his mind fantasy thing about how like how the perfect thing we're gonna be washed ashore uh-huh. with like the love interest and everything else he's like but reality's not the same reality sucks and just goes right to her thrown up in buckets <laughs> and I'm just gonna keep I thought, I thought that was really well done <laughs> Rudy this is yeah while well, they're still kids like it's just I'll always be complaining yeah. about that. So I'm I'm still waiting for like that change. I, I'm hoping though with this first and the second episode that uh they're just kind of getting out. Well, not even really the first episode, but like this this second episode where they're just getting like out like a lot of like the crazy edginess so we can focus on the main story, mm-hmm. which I'm assuming and hoping happens because a lot of shows do that. So I'm hoping this would probably follow the same. But, uh, uh yeah yeah eventually I think this episode is more just setting up the characters from both ends right so mm-hmm. it's basically the first half of the show where this episode was kind of like a flashback from Roxy's party's, party's point yeah. of view yeah we kind of skipped that at the beginning of this <laughs> yeah and then uh the first episode was based on what Rudy and the others were doing so yep. uh but yeah on the second half they did progress through the story and we are now in a part where uh Rudy went to core release Rujard, and then yep. uh, once he released them, since they were smuggling children, Rujard killed all of them. And then when Rudy Easy. went back to go rescue the dog, uh, a bunch of elves came by. And, elves? Uh, no, I think those are the, animal people. The animal, the, or beast people? Beast oh, people, beast people, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah there the you beast go. Beast people came and killed them. Beast masters. Yes. I will say it is. And that's where we're left off. It's, it's <laughs> interesting, too, with um, Rudy's character, like because he was his whole goal was to make sure bears, whatever, like they... Like he didn't want to ruin the reputation, but then he still has to uh-huh. make Ruger just kill everyone again. But this yeah. time he seems much more accepting. So like before, like he tried well, to do everything not to do it, but then he's kind of understanding the reality of a situation where he can't get everything he wants. So at this time it's like he has no choice because it is with smugglers and it's not like people care if they kill them off. So Well, yeah. I think at this point, like he like I don't think it really like hurts his reputation at all considering he killed everybody. <laughs> so why like why would they know? Because uh, I, I mean, apparently those people that grabbed uh, the Rudy, they think you know he was a part of it or did something with it. Yep. And then you know, when uh, Rougeard was nowhere to be seen at that time, so you can't blame him. Yeah. Well, even you know? still, like, um, and then there was, there was like the exposition with Roxy and her group, where even they have this big reputation as the party with traveling with Rougeard. Even like mm-hmm. this, it's still there. I mean, it's only <laughs> been a year, so you can't really change much. Yeah. I think it's just like it's like Rudy, um, he accepts that like it's still. 
big like cultural thing that they like, can't change and also showing that like even in the year past you see how much like roxy and her party like sees it from their point of view too how like they're still afraid of the, the super herds yeah i like how i like how everybody in paul's group hates him still or he just calls him sc- scum <laughs> i mean paul that's kind of scummy right yeah he is I mean, he's he's really scum. think about it but, so. but dude but this is coming from the elf girl that's basically willing to to, to get in the to you know to those uh those group uh what the, what is the term orgies yeah we'll go with that okay if you want to just go out and say it right there i guess we'll go we'll go with that oh i'm sorry let's, let's not get demonetized i'm sorry the the old word right <laughs> um uh extracurricular like, extracurricular activities right? i mean if, if paul can be very like uh flirtatious and sleep with whoever he wants why can't uh Lena at least do it too. But so it's that must fine. be like he must have been like bad, like you know, bad. If uh, if she's also calling him scum, you know, right, Probably. right. That was my point. Uh, but I also like the dwarf guy. I don't even know if he's a dwarf, but he just reminds me of the uh, of uh, the he guy from uh, Damachi. Okay, perfect. Mm-hmm. I mean, then I, like I, I like that guy so. too. He doesn't really yeah, do much like this episode the... though. He's just there, just yeah. like in in like the montage. <laughs> Keep everything under control. I mean, I mean, he's not like what does he have to do, right? Like as yeah. of right now everyone is just doing like reconnaissance and then you know Roxy's trying, you know, Elena Elise is trying yeah. I'm like saying her from, way. From our point of view so. it's like cuz in the mod they, they they only have Roxy's point of view and then you see mm-hmm. like El, the the elf chick like you see her but like it doesn't really show much of the dwarf so we don't really see what he's really like we won't yeah. see much of him from our perspective so right. It's enough for me to say that he's an awesome guy. But then also, um, like, so, and then, so Roxy's party, they, they went on, like, a, like, the animal, like, ride, like, the dinosaur ride outside the desert. So they're going, like, mm-hmm. a different, so complete, close. completely different way than what yeah. Rudy and his party, because they went off the sea. So that's, like, the only chance they'd be yeah. close to each other. But now it's, like, now they're going to be super far apart until, like, way later in the story. For me, I feel like that Roxy and uh, Rudy is confirmed. Almost, it's it's going to be confirmed. Uh, the couple. I the felt like when she was telling that story about how like her perfect thing, I was like, man, this is going to be yeah, this is going to be Rudy. I mean, that's like that's or obvious. it's going to be that's or it's a... going to be reverse because or it's basically going to be her saving Rudy because uh, those are the two things yeah. I kept thinking in my mind. I was basically, like, okay, this is going to happen or the reverse. That's the trope. <laughs> well, I mean, I just yep. I assume it's just going to be a horror room with like like there's like they they're setting so much of Eris in here that like it's not. Like, I can't see her not being part of the harem with with um with Roxy and oh, then the, right. the childhood friend as well. Definitely, mm-hmm. yeah, I, yeah, Andy. They were so close, and then they basically with they they Scooby Doo dust, and then uh, that's it. I mean, you can't really blame them though. Like Roxy was running for her life; she thought that Rudger was trying to kill her for like spying on them. I guess. So. I mean, I wasn't expecting like how... them to meet up because like the way they mm-hmm. were showing it, like last episode, like like Strand yeah. said, like, like the Scooby Doo effect. Like I wasn't expecting them to run into each other. Yeah, yeah, it's like, how are you going to do that? And then basically, then if they were to just meet up the next episode, can't happen. Not a thing. With uh, with Rudy getting caught by these, the by the Beast people, mm-hmm. that I feel like it's going to be almost like a, it feel, it's going to feel like kind of like a side story thing. Even though the, like, that dog looked uh, looked awesome as well. And I like how <laughs> the reason why he got ca- captured is because he had, a, he had a terrible look on his face and thinking, oh my god. <laughs> When, uh, yeah, that's what happens when we have a lewd face at all times. Oh, you know? God. So, yeah. when, when he, like, rescued one, one of, like, the Beast kids, like, I was, like, one of the, I was assuming one of them was going to join their party. That's how they're, like, it seems like what, that's what the story was setting up. But then, um, after that, like, now, now it seems like when he gets captured, now it seems like maybe someone at that village just got to join his party. I just assume it dog. seems like the story setting up for, like, for, like, the dog. Yeah, it seems like a dog person. <laughs> a dog. Like, a, a, be- a dog uh-huh. beast. Person's gonna like join the party. It seems like that's what they're setting up the story as. He's gonna need a mount, the dog. A mount? No, not as a mount. Just like I think an actual like like beast person's gonna join the party. That's just my guess. Yep. What was that's little, exactly was... what's gonna happen. It, the, bit... the dog's gonna join. Yes, <laughs> with a mount as a mount. Yes, yes. No, not... It's a that's just it's a twenty dollars subscription. This is structure the dog, man. I mean, not big it... either. <laughs> I mean, it's big for Rudy. Yet. It's big for Rudy because he's a kid. But Dude, mm-hmm. it's okay. The dog will grow just like Rudy. Oh god! Yeah, it, got, it was it got a little dark though with uh, one one smuggling kids, but then just one straight up dying. It has dark elements, then it can just have like hilariousness, and then just crazy etchiness. It's like all, it's all over the board, but it blends it very well. Mm-hmm. To join the harm, agreed. Oh, god. <laughs> yeah, but uh, also pay attention too though, like because of how they reacted to how Rudy was handling the dog. Uh, the dog is someone of somewhat importance, so just try oh, to keep that yep. in mind. Oh yeah, 
Yeah, well, it was like, it was like sacred beast. It was like a sacred, sacred beast, beast, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, these yeah. guys, man. That 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 uh that blast that guy had is, seems pretty epic. Basically, just paralyzes you. It reminded me of uh like the yawn move from Pokemon, where he the dude just screams at him, and then like all of a sudden Rudy <laughs> just like fell asleep, or he became like oh, paralyzed. I was, I was or whatever. thinking of, like the, yeah. the, the Skyrim yell, where it just blasts people away. So I guess it didn't uh, yes. blast them away. Just yeah, but he didn't get blasted away though. He just like became paralyzed and fell down. So. Yeah, he, he got so we dazed don't... from the attack that yeah, like, he is, just can't move. Man, he, he has his eye, but he didn't even get to use the eye. <laughs> Oh, well, I think but... he was so panicked too, though, because like the thing that I, 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 I kind of hate is just the fact that like Rudy is still somewhat hesitant when it comes down to killing or just going to combat in general. Yeah, so, okay. yeah, even though he's really strong, that's his his major setback when it comes yeah. to combat. So, <laughs> right when you Rouge and say like, "Oh, all the enemies are gone," I was like, "Well, flag, <laughs> there's gonna be mm-hmm. somebody there." Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, uh, but I, I don't know. It's Again, at this point, no idea what really to expect. I mean, like just, um, the show is just so good. I just feel like, like the fans are just, it's it's like it's the fans are, it's fans are that's unnecessary that just gets in the way. That's just what's yeah, really it's, annoying. It's like yeah, like if it was like any other Isekai, Isekai show where it was like that's what they're advertising, we like, expect that, it. That, that's fine. <laughs> you can do whatever you want in your show, but like it's just it just gets drags it drags down this show. Yeah, I mean, I'm, like I said, I'm fine with it. Just keep it on the DL. But I mean, really, yeah. that's the only thing. And I also, have just Rudy, it, just like uh, I just I want to get him get out. You know, his teenager like, face. Trying... I mean, or... again, we have to like you have to try to forget that he is a 30, 40 year old guy stuck in a twelve year old's body. Is that how um, old he was? Yeah. I don't remember even how old he was. Like he was, he was like old. Oh, he's he like past. Like, he's, like, he's, like, he's like our. He's like our age. age, I guess, right? <laughs> he's like, he's age right? We're old. More, you know? It's all right. It's We're like, old. That's why I'm just. I really don't like it that he's like going after this thirteen year old girl, even if he's in a twelve year old body, like. It's okay. Just give us a five, like another five. Was it five years time skip, and then it'll all be good. I'm yeah, assuming maybe, he's thirteen. Maybe we'll go with David's right? love time skip, and then we'll go from there. I'm yeah, when he's yeah, twenty-one, that, man. Like I have no yeah. hope anymore. So, <laughs> thirty-four. Thirty-four is his age. We're younger. Oh, there we go. Feels good. Nice. So just just a couple more years, and we'll we'll get Isakite as well. We'll be all right. Yes. Um. But yeah, I don't know. I think I I think it's fine just because. I, I feel like with season one, the first two or three episodes, there was a lot of fan service there as well. Yeah. So after that, it kind of uh, progressed fairly well. It was very focused on just the story and development of Rudy and his journey. So I, I mean, think I'm with this one, it'll be, a, it'll be the same thing, right? You got two episodes where it's just kind of full of fan service or just, full of etchiness. And then bring you back into the show, you know, right. what, it's, uh, what it's known for, it's, which is fine. It's, it's just one, two episodes, get it, and then uh, just kind of clear out of the way. Give me a little bit here and there if you need to, if you feel that it's necessary, and then move on. Right. But I'm, I think, I'm, st- I'm still I think the though. next couple episodes are going to be re- pretty exciting. So, well. Yes. I, again, so we'll see. It, I'm, it's, I'm another, curious, it's another curious. turn. No clue what's going to happen. I, I don't hmm. know. I'm curious to see how it turns out because I'm, I'm also not really good at predicting what happens in the show either. So, I'm curious Same. to see what actually happens. Next I do episodes. have faith, though. Yeah. I do have faith in the show. Like, it's proven in the first season that it can. That it knows what it's doing, so I will mm-hmm. just I'll trust the system. I'll trust the system, the characters, the store, all, everything. Also, so. I, want, I mean, I know like the next part it's gonna be focused on Rudy in his own side Ugh. stuff. But I wonder how much, yeah, how much of it will now like focus on like if they're gonna show Roxy anymore now that she's not in the city. Well, I feel I wonder, like it's gonna be a while before. I wonder. I wonder if it's just gonna sh- the focus just shift straight back to just Rudy and his party. So we will see. I'm okay with it. And then also, like, I like maybe, and like if later later on in the season, if we're ever gonna get any moments with like with Paul, either they show us what happens to him, or we have to wait till Rudy like meets up, mm-hmm. or Roxy meets up with him. So um, I'm curious to see what the story's focus will be. There's like so many different ways could happen, things could happen. So, it, that's when the pairing begins. When Rudy's in trouble in a dungeon and gets saved by Roxy, that or too. vice versa. So. <laughs> so. I think I'm good. Yeah, so I think that's gonna be it. We're yeah, part here. of it was a rehash, just Roxy's view, yeah. viewpoint. So, so we're in here for now. Um, catch us back next week. We we'll, we try to uh, do these uh, do this on time. <laughs> reviews like right after Shoko Tensei airs every Sunday morning. So um, we're not we're not always there right away, but we try to keep these weekly. So keep out, yep. keep an eye out for um, the weekly reviews. Um, yep. and, and Demon Slayer, we'll be doing. We're planning on that as well. That too, but like, but this is mainly for Shoko Tensei, so I just want to focus on I'm just saying, Shoko Tensei. if you're interested. Alright, so that's that's <laughs> it from us for this week. We'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.